Hey everyone, quick back here, Mr. Basics here. So today I'll be talking about how to do calculations for hemocytometer without using any formula. Yes, without using any formula. All you need to remember is number 100. That's it, number 100. To be more precise, 100 nanoliters. And if you remember this value, 100 nanoliters, then all the calculations for hemocytometer becomes very easy. Hemocytometer is a specially designed glass slide used to calculate total number of cells in the liquid sample. It is widely used for calculation of total number of RBCs, WBCs, yeast cells, fungal spurs, etc. The glass of hemocytometer is carefully crafted with a laser such that the area bounded by the line is known. All the colored squares that you see here has the area of 1 mm square. and the depth of the chamber is around 0.1 mm. Now, if we multiply area by depth, then what we get is the volume. And here we come to the magical number of 100. The volume occupied by each of the large square is around 100 nanoliters. And that's the only thing you need to remember, 100 nanoliters. Okay, let's take an example. Suppose the total number of cells that you calculate in the large square is 18. This means 100 nanoliters has 18 cells. In other words, 0.1 microliters has 18 cells. So the total number of cells in 1000 microliters, that is 1 ml, is gonna be 1.8 into 10 raised to 5. Isn't this easy? Okay, let's take second example. Suppose you want to calculate total number of RBC in a given blood sample. Because RBCs are so small, we need to use the small squares in the center at a high magnification. Now observe carefully, this central square has 25 subsquares. And each subsquare is divided into 16 subsquares. Let's say total number of RBC that you calculate in the subsquare is 82. Okay, now let's go back to the magical number 100 nanoliters. 100 nanoliters is the volume occupied by the large square. As there are 25 subsquares, the volume occupied by each of the subsquare is going to be 100 divided by 25, that is 4 nanoliters. This means 4 nanoliters have 82 RBCs. So 1000 microliters, that is 1 ml, is going to have 2.1 into 10 raised to 7 RBCs per ml.